G'day. This is the 12th of Jim Caronius' integrals, and uh, without wasting any time, you can see that we have one polynomial divided by another. You can see they're both of the same order, they're both x squared, which means that we're going to divide first of all, and when we divide one quadratic by another, and they have the same coefficient, we're going to get 1 plus something. Now, we could perform a long division, whichever method you prefer, synthetic, long, whatever. But I'm going to suggest this. Since we have this on the top, it will stay. And it's as though we've added this product and subtracted it as well. So if I subtract the product here, I think you'll see that 1 is this over this. So I have this minus the same thing plus what we had. So it's a little bit of a a swift adjustment. I just don't have a lot of room on the board and I hope you appreciate that. Uh, so I'll leave the integral of 1 plus. Now let's try and resolve what's on the top here. I have x minus 3, x minus 2 in the denominator. This will give me x squared minus 1. This will give me x squared minus 5x plus 6, but there's a negative sign, so it's going to be minus plus minus. x squared minus x squared disappears, which is the whole aim of the exercise. And here we have 5x minus 7 dx. So we've resolved that numerator quite nicely. Now we have polynomials, but this time this is uh, it order one less than this. So we know we're heading into the territory of logarithms, but we're going to have to do this with partial fractions. So, now can I do this smartly? <laughs> I, perhaps not. Let's just, I'm trying to avoid uh, doing a whole lot of work on the side. Let's just imagine we have A and B here. When we multiply the add, when we add these fractions together, we're going to get A times X minus 2 and B times X minus 3 on the top. And that is going to give us AX plus BX, so A plus B will equal 5. And we're going to get negative 2A, negative 3B equals negative 7. So 2a and 3b will equal 7. Now if I double everything on the top, 2, 2 and 10, we have simultaneous equations. Subtracting upwards we get b, is that a 7 I wrote? It is 2. 7 taken by 10 is negative 3. And I did have a plus b equals 5. So if b is negative 3, then a will equal 8. So let's just check this out. We're going to get 8x minus 3x is 5x. Negative 16 minus negative 9 is plus 9. So 9 minus 16 is minus 7, so or negative 7. So we're in, in business. Uh, you're not examined on this material, by the way. This is the flow of the argument. I could rub this off as well. And now we can integrate. The integral of 1 is x. The integral of this... <coughs> pardon me. I'll treat 8 as a constant outside. 
because the derivative of x minus 3 is 1. This is the log x minus 3. I was going to use parentheses, but because x minus 3 could assume a negative value, I'll use absolute value signs. I'll use negative 3 as the coefficient here. Derivative of x minus 2 is 1. So this will be logarithm x minus 2 plus c. And putting it all together, uh, I'll move the 8 inside. And the th well, I could leave it like this. But if I wanted it as one expression, I could write it as the logarithm of x minus 3 to the power 8 divided by x minus 2 to the power 3. And now, if they were even powers, I wouldn't worry about absolute value, but this could be negative, so I will use absolute value signs. Now, apart from having pulled a couple of Swifties, if that's, that's terrible slang, isn't it? Uh, instead of doing all the calculations on the side of the page, the simultaneous equations and so on, I've, I've actually done it more in the body of the work here. But I hope you worked out what I was doing in creating this one and resolving the numerator, partial fractions, and away we go. A little bit of a, a little bit more difficult, this one, than some of the ones we've seen. But I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you perhaps have even learned something. And uh, if you have done so, then please click the like button and leave a comment. And uh, if you'd like to see more of these, please subscribe as well so you find out about them as they appear. And I thank you very, very much for watching.